So I'll remove this and talk about my collection in a different video. And maybe I'll do a comparison, easier to do a comparison with another bracelet like so, which is my first troll deed bracelet. Now, so we can see they're both really lovely. They're both extremely well made, extremely well made. Um, uh, troll beads have this sort of more rustic feel to it with a lot more uh, left in oxidation or even applied oxidation perhaps or um, the less polished look but the more crafty look it looks like um, I think they're still handmade I'm not sure you let me know um, there is this feeling that this is made in a jewelry shop while Pandora is very much of a more of a, even though they're still hand polished and hand, you know, in Thailand, it is a big factory there. It is a little bit more regimented. It's a little bit more systemized. I don't want to call it mass produced because those ones in from China, um, the one like Geno's, for example, if you look at it, it may look like they're quite similar to Pandora. And I guess that's potentially why some people think that, you know, um, feel that Troll Beats is the better, classier, more boutique, you know, it's a little bit more crafty compared to Pandora because you cannot confuse these with those, um, those ones that you can find um, on Geno's, uh, which they have purchased from China, bulk purchase from China. Apparently, Geno's make their own, but I think for the majority um, of parts, you've seen my video on it, they've basically resell from, you know, and a lot of their products are the same as the ones you can find rebranded by other brands on eBay and on Etsy. Of course, Pandora is not uh, not the case, right? So, very, very well made, um, but more flashy, a little bit more polished looking, very, I and mean, these are all very detailed. So, you know, I don't know how you can mass produce something like this without the interference or without the contribution of human hands actually sitting there doing the work one by one, like this one here, okay? So... Yeah, so it's not it's not fair, I think, to say that the degree of craftsmanship or meticulousness isn't on par. I think they're just different. So I don't know how you could do this with a machine. Like if if you can, let me know because I'll be really fascinated to know how. Um, and when I first saw troll beads, I thought when I look at the hooks, at the clasp, I thought, well, this is just a standard lobster claw class that's been add on that's been added on it's like somebody's you know um, craft project at home buy bulk from china a uh, standard hook and then you just sort of add to it that's how it feels to begin with and of course with the clasp i showed you uh, that's less so but this is an older one from 2018 i think there is a review of this that i found online from 2018 and, and and it mentioned getting it from the shop. So I'm assuming this is 2018 or older. Let me know. But this is obviously more purpose-built. This, this isn't something that... Uh, and this is more what I'm looking for in terms of troll beads clasps. You know, the sense that even though it is in the format that is commonly found elsewhere, which is the claw clasp here, but it is purposely made... To look like a whole item rather than an actual clasp being patched onto with other stuff do you know what i mean yeah so um which one is better well neither is better um i think it's a static it depends on your preference the only thing i could say is that the clasp is proprietary as i said with pandora i think this is uniquely Pandora and I think it's copyrighted under their brand this particular class here and it means that all of the things that you use have to be compatible with this type of um, 
threading here. And you can see often either damaged threaded charm because some of these charms are threaded and some are not. So there's threading on the inside of some of them. You can see some of damaged threaded charms or damaged, damaged um, clip stations. Like it's like this, but here and here. Either the clip station is damaged or the area around the clip station is damaged because I think somebody have forced it, uh, have forced um, that area there. Someone potentially have forced something through or twisted by forcing it and it just snapped the area around here um, or it snapped the mechanism, the threading inside the um, bead or the charm. This is a clip so it doesn't have the same, the same mechanism. But it just means that you are... Um, you bought into an ecosystem. This is like a Mac, I suppose. And this is probably more like an Android or a PC. So, um, how should I put it? That's not quite a very good analogy, but that's the closest I can think of because my friend who uses Android and PC said that you can custom make PC and Android. You're not beholden to the company, the brand, to preset everything for you. But the experience is a little bit rougher for someone like me who's not technologically oriented. In terms of aesthetic, however, this is more my style because aesthetic, unlike IT, requires, in my opinion, a lot more edges and a lot more flows, a lot more, you know, the faults, the human element. The more human element, to me, the closer to nature, the better arts and crafts are for me personally. Uh, that's not always the case, of course. If you look at uh, the aesthetic of Art Deco from the 30s to the 40s and the mid-century aesthetics from the 50s to 60s, they're very industrial looking, they're very angular, very geometric, a lot more polished, reminds me a lot more of this. And I there's, there's something to be said about that. Um, but in terms of, and I actually really love this, the newer Pandora, maybe not a little bit, you know, more frivolous, a little bit more blingy, a little bit more busy, less streamlined, less elegant, less simple. I think this is a lot more to my taste, which is why a lot of these are actually pre-loved and retired, like this and this and this. Um, this is new, these two, but everything else pre-loved. Um, well, this is more, um, more to my taste because in art, I seek more of the human flaws, like the rust, the patina, the asymmetrical arrangement, the the traces of the human spirit. So, um, however, in terms of system, so there's a static to be compared and there's system. In terms of system, I found Pandora to be a lot easier to deal with. It is a lot more systematic, the returning policy is a lot more smooth. Um, it's easy to find pre-love charms, it, it's easy to sell, and while with Troll Beats the audience is small, I don't get as many views here, and when I look for something I can't find anything on eBay, you have to go to really small groups of dedicated collectors who most of them collect the glass beads, and so looking for these metal ones was really hard work, especially once they're retired, so there's all that, and um, it adds more to the collecting experience, but ultimately, if, like me, you're only here for the short term and it isn't a long-term hobby, it can get really exhausting really fast. So, yeah, so... Um, in, in conclusion, which one is better? Neither. It depends on what you like, depends on what you're after. This is a lot more systematic, a lot more readily available. I really think that saying mass produce is a bit unfair to say that, but it is as close to as mass produce as you can with Pandora, but that is good and bad because good, because it means that they're very systematic. They're very systemized in terms of customer service as well. Uh, that is good and bad depending on what you look for. So for example, people complain about the packaging from Pandora isn't very nice when you order online because they focus more on efficiency, being able to 
put through the packaging through your mail slot that sort of thing while with troll beads the boxing the rib it's so nice but the boxes are big it means they can't go through the uh, mail slot the return process is also a little bit more cumbersome well with pandora no questions asked you can return everything for refund within a month um, even if you buy it online whether it's online or a brick and mortar shop um, and Pandora is available almost everywhere you know in in my city alone there's several and that is something to be said because it's so hard to find anything here it's so hard to find anything in New Zealand the closest of all sorts like Lego and troll beads and a variety of different other things I the New Zealand site is literally based in Australia. So the New Zealand site, the dot and Z sites for these places, even like Lego, is actually in Sydney or New South Wales or somewhere in Australia being shipped from there, but presented as a New Zealand site. So this is less available. This is so widely available. Uh, a lot of the pre-loved ones, I simply go on eBay and there they are. And I managed, as you can see from my video upload, I managed to gather so many uh, pre-loved within quite a fast succession, one after the other. And I really like that. This is a bit more hard work. But as you can see, um, you know, picture speaks a thousand words. I'm just going to leave it there. And you tell me what the differences are. And that's basically it. Outside of the more systemized and more um, handmade, little mom and pop shop feel of this one with this um, big factory big distribution chain systemized customer service of pandora um it's a lot more audience a lot more distribution a lot more um, in terms of availability in terms of market in terms of collectors and this is less so and it's more community based it's a lot a lot of community activities such as voting for community bead bead of the year that sort of thing uh, well, it's um, more worldwide, international here. So this is more boutique. This is more um, flashy, um, sort of, you know, global outlet, sort of retail, um, like the flashy brands of LVMH, like Louis Vuitton, um, Tiffany and & Co, and, you know, that sort of thing here. And this is more um, like if glasses, what is the equivalent of glasses? Um Oliver Goldsmith glasses, for example, or um, um, uh, Jacques Marie Mage you know, in terms of glasses. Well, this is more like Gucci glasses, Versace glasses, um, Prada glasses. Do you know what I mean? That That's the difference ultimately. And whether Prada is better compared to Oliver Goldsmith or Jacques Marie Mage, it really depends. Brand recognition is a lot more here. I did not know Trollbeat existed until I started watching videos about Pandora. So, yeah, so boutique. This is big brand boutique like Gucci and Prada. And this is um, boutique boutique like uh, Jacques Marie Marge and Oliver Goldsmith in terms of if I were to use glasses as an analogy. So that's that. Bye.